Politicians of all stripes are remembering one of Canada's longest serving parliamentarians tonight. Lifelong Liberal Herb Gray died peacefully in an Ottawa hospital yesterday. He was an institution in Ottawa, well respected, well liked. He held virtually every major cabinet post. Shirley Engel looks back at Herb Gray's life. This is an opportunity. Though he lacked political pizzazz, Herb Gray left a mark on Ottawa few parliamentarians ever will. First elected in 1962, he was a fixture in the House of Commons for nearly 40 years, the longest serving MP in modern times. From opposition to John Diefenbaker, to the first Jewish cabinet minister under Pierre Trudeau, to deputy prime minister under Jean Chrétien. His depth and his versatility, I think, will, uh, uh, will stand out, as well as that passion for human beings. Uh, that was always his focus. What does this mean? to the average person on the street in winter. There's no basis to look into the matter further. He earned the nickname Grey Fog for masterfully deflecting questions. He would just stand up and matter-of-factly just swat away our questions with so much ease and poise and it was incredibly frustrating being in opposition trying to hit the government really hard with a really tough question and he would just dismiss it. Grey was a close friend to former Prime Minister Paul Martin and his father. I've always had a huge admiration for him, whether it was as a young lawyer in Windsor, whether it was as a parliamentarian when I watched him from the gallery, or as a parliamentarian when I sat beside him. Among Gray's achievements, saving Chrysler from bankruptcy in the 1980s, preserving thousands of auto jobs in his riding of Windsor, Ontario. No surprise, voters re-elected him a record 12 times. After the turn of the century, he helped save the Kyoto Accord and tackled the delicate issue of residential schools. An officer of the Order of Canada, Chrétien awarded him the rare distinction of Right Honourable. We participate in the evolution of the society in Canada. You know, we didn't have Canada Pension Plan and Medicare and many other social programs did not exist when we started in 1963. So he was a great Canadian. As much passion as he had for politics, Gray had for music. Trained as a classical pianist, he loved his rock and roll. He had his share of health challenges over the years, beating cancer, undergoing heart valve surgery. But until he retired in 2002, he always returned to public service. A remarkable endurance, unparalleled today. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.